Steve Jobs might have been killed by his vegan diet. If you want to know more about it, check out Frankie's video on this. Link down below. I want to make an attempt in analyzing the character trait compassion and from what point compassion can turn into a murderous instrument of destruction. First, I want to explain the trait of compassion. Compassion is the capacity to understand and feel the pain and suffering of other beings. Why do I use the phrase being and not person or living being? Because compassion can also be directed at metaphysical things like nature, the world or God. Compassion is a universally human trait and is deeply embedded in our psyche. Animals do not possess this trait as well as psychopaths. Makes you think, right? Compassion is part of the process of judging. You cannot judge without being compassionate. If you do, you would never judge fairly or competently. Compassion is mostly a feminine trait, although men have it too. It is just not as strong as in women. This can be a tremendous benefit during childcare and a devastating detriment when clarity of thinking is required. That is the reason why women are much more susceptible to compassion targeting politics or advertisement. Compassion can be exploited. Compassion has many positive aspects, but in this video I want to point out how this integral trait of a loving person can be transformed into the drive of murderous impulses with no boundaries. Let us examine the dark sides of compassion. Did you know that compassion is the origin of communism, feminism, vegetarianism, veganism and climate change? We feel sorry for things that suffer and to want to create a perfect world without suffering. But is it even possible to create such a world? Fortunately, mankind has done many experiments on this. One of the most well known has been done in the country of my origin, Soviet Russia. Allow me to give you a short summary of the tragic events in the history of today's Russia. Roughly 100 years ago, Human beings were inspired by an idea to create a political system that would erase suffering from the face of the earth. It would be called communism, originating from commis, or in English, common. In this political system, no man of common origin would have to suffer like they were doing before the 1917 revolution. It would be a system of compassion and brotherliness. Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov was the head politician of the communist revolution in 1917. You might know him as Lenin. After the monarchy of the Russian Empire was crushed, he seized power with the help of the communist party. From now on, good times were to come. Or would they? From the beginning of Lenin's reign, special laws have been created to protect the integrity of the newly formed Soviet Union. Although the Russian population thought that good times were to come, these laws were against everyone who would oppose Lenin. For this purpose, special concentration camps have been created. These would serve as working camps for whoever would endanger the stability of the Soviet Union. The wholeness of these camps would be called the Gulag Archipelago, in addition, the equivalent to the German Waffen-SS, the Smersch, was created. Smersch was created from two words, Smert and Spion. Smert means death and Spion means spy. So Smersch would mean death to spies. And that was exactly what it was made for. Its job was to ensure the safety of the state and preventively arrest spies as well as traitors. Seven years later, Lenin died and passed down his leadership to his disciple, Stalin. After the death of his beloved teacher, Stalin was much more paranoid about the revolutionary coups. He introduced laws that would require every Smersh man to make a specific amount of arrests monthly because he believed that spies were everywhere. 
No man dared to oppose Stalin for fear of execution. As a result, the prisons and gulags were filled to the point of bursting. New gulag camps had to be created to cover the constant flow of spies. Only that these were no spies, but mainly Russia's population. Members of the Communist Party were so scared of Stalin that they would blindly do the work of the devil, liquidating a large part of the Russian population. The staff of the Gulag Archipelago was so cruel to its prisoners that most of them would die during labor or be tortured to death. This went on for 70 years. Even after Stalin's death, the Empire of Lies persisted. It is as if malevolence outlives its fathers. In the course of Soviet history, tens of millions died. Historians assume that communism took 50 million lives in Soviet Russia alone. How can an idea that originate from something so wonderful as compassion lead to the death of so many people and scar a nation forever? As you see, compassion can go terribly wrong. Unfortunately, many people do not understand it and think their motives pure. Steve Jobs was one of the smartest human beings in history, but even he was devoured by compassion for the living beings. He tried to make an example for the right way, but he chose the wrong path. Often, visioners choose the wrong path. This one was fatal. He committed to his visions and changed the world. If we do not learn from his mistake, we disgrace his sacrifice. He wanted to end suffering and, in the end, he achieved his goal. He ended his suffering. But was it worth it? Jordan Peterson said that life is suffering. The only way to end suffering is to end life.